We're told we need changes in our voting laws to make sure nobody cheats on election day. But not only is there no proof of a voter fraud problem in either state, there is proof that the lawmakers writing both those laws are not telling you something important about a group called ALEC. State Senator Charlie Jansen is confused about why we want to know about this secretive but very powerful group known as ALEC. I didn't use them at all for this bill, so I'm really not even understanding what the, the relevancy is. Senator Jansen says no powerful billionaires had any role in his Nebraska voter ID law. We've experienced a lot of voter fraud across the country. But even the chief official in charge of Nebraska elections says there's no real problem here. We've had an aggressive voter fraud unit already, and that very few people ever try to cheat here. In fact, there's very little proof of any serious voter fraud anywhere. But so far, 31 states have jumped on the voter ID bandwagon anyway. Iowa's headed there too, and with little proof of cheating, many Democrats say it's really all about this man. For the first time in nine years, the voter ID rules will probably keep a lot of the young and poor from voting. Both groups big Obama backers last round, and opponents say that's where this secretive group of powerful conservatives comes in. Voter ID in your state and a lot of other states is not something that is necessarily being created by the people you elected. Brendan Fisher works for the Center of Media and Democracy. They publish Alec Expose. The watchdog group says almost every voter ID bill in the nation shares common elements to a template that's provided by the group American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC for short. ALEC calls itself a nonpartisan membership association for conservative lawmakers who share a common belief. The group includes support from the controversial billionaire Koch brothers and other huge names in corporate America. Johnson & Johnson, Kraft Foods, AT&T, Walmart. The watchdog group says ALEC is writing many of the hot bills our lawmakers claim as their own. And these think tanks essentially hand state legislators changes to our laws that they desire. ALEC Exposed says this is a model bill for the Voter ID Act. I've studied both Nebraska and Iowa's proposed laws. Both proposed bills hit on every single point in the ALEC template. And the co-sponsor of Iowa's bill? This woman, Senator Linda Upmeyer. She has clear ties to ALEC. In fact, she's their treasurer. But how about Nebraska's bill? I was looking at your bill and kind of comparing it to Iowa's bill, and there's a lot of similarities in the language there. Um, can you talk a little bit about those points? I really didn't use Iowa's bill uh, to draft my bill. I used Indiana's bill originally. Indiana's bill? Again, every single point, down to an exception for nursing homes and a Monday deadline for bringing in your late ID, every single point matches the ALEC template. Indiana's is very similar to this model draft that ALEC, ALEC exposed says that this is the model draft for voter ID bills for a lot of these states across the entire nation. Do you know about ALEC? You know what? Uh, the first time I've talked about ALEC in two years today is when you inquired about it. Um, I'm not a member of ALEC. I've never attended an ALEC uh, function. Um, either, either here in Lincoln or they have national conventions. Then I hand him this, a document that still lists the senator on a big ALEC committee. Yeah, my first year down here I was uh, I signed up for ALEC and then I, I let my dues lapse. So I ask him to explain why his bill is remarkably similar to ALEC's model bill. And so your bill is not similar to this, have you seen that? No, I have no idea, I don't look at any ALEC materials. But we did and the match is hard to ignore. And if you want to take a close look for yourself, we put all the bills, Iowa, Nebraska, and the ALEC template on our website. Just click on my story at action3news.com. Liz Dorland, Action 3 News.